Well, the weekend's over, and it's Monday. That's right, it's Monday. And, you know, I was thinking, and I was talking to Squeaky about what we could do for a Monday video, and he was like, I got the perfect idea. So, today, we are talking about Todd McFarlane's Movie Maniacs Sloth figure. That's right, it's Toy Day. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Previously on the Nerdy Ronin Network. Hey, Squeaky. So, Nerdy Wap and I were going to go to the movies the other night. And so we decided what we were going to watch. We got dressed. We went to the movies. And we walked in holding hands all lovey-dovey like we always do. And the front desk people said, they told Nerdy Wap. They said, you have to leave. You can't. You can't bring that in here. And she was like, what? Can't bring what in? And she pointed at me and she said, snacks from outside. Well, 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 it's Monday. The weekend is officially over. And the work week has begun. So, what could we do? To make that better for all of you. Well, here's what has happened. Okay? First things first, link in the description. If they're not there, thenerdyronin.com. And like and subscribe, please. We appreciate it. Hello, new subscribers. Hello, old subscribers. We love you all. So, I was... I've been... I've had my eye... First off, I used to collect all of Todd McFarlane's toy line. I've got quite a few figures. I've got several of the Sin City figures, etc., etc. But for the for a long time now, I have not collected his figures. Uh, I haven't really enjoyed the direction he's gone in, and the toys just aren't necessarily always up to snuff, in my opinion. But I've been looking at one toy that just came out. By him, it's his new movie Maniacs line. It's it's representing a hundred years of Warner Brothers, <clears throat> and I had to buy it. I, I had a I had some credit, I had some credit on Amazon, and I was like, uh, I I have to buy it. And I thought you might like looking at it. So, first things first, I'm going to show you this. This is the background that comes with it. It's cardboard, two two plastic like circular pieces to hold it all together. This is the back drop of this fantastic figure. And then it comes with a little metal stand, aluminum, whatever it is, plastic. It's probably plastic. I don't know. It says the Goonies, 100 years of Warner Brothers, and it has sloth picture, a card, and this card is removable. And then on the back, it's numbered because there's only 11,000 of them, and it's signed by Todd McFarlane. No, it's not his real signature. I'm sure it's a stamp or, you know, printed on there, whatever. But that's decoration around it. And then it comes with a mystery, a mystery thing. And I'm going to show you the mystery thing last because I have a complaint. But don't go anywhere. You want to see what the mystery item that you get free if you order this is. But I'm sure you want to see the greatest part, which is, hey, you guys. That's right. There it is. Look at that. Sharp as a tack. Really good detailing. I really like this. I love the movie Goonies. Nerdy Wife hates that movie. She thinks it's only good because of nostalgia. But I love that movie. <clears throat> and on the stand, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but on the stand that's built into the figure, it says the Goonies. That's as close as it's going to get, as good as it's going to get, sorry. There you go. You can kind of see it there. But the detail's magnificent. It looks just like Sloth. It's just really well done. And I was really impressed with it. 
Uh, obviously, this is not a toy. This is a, a, a mini figure, basically. It's six inches tall. A mini figure that you put on the display, right? And it came with a mystery thing, item, is it item. And I was excited when I first saw what it was, but then I wasn't. Let's look at it. So it, it came in a little box with a question mark on it. So mystery box, right? And when you open it up and unfold it, it's a really great artwork poster of the Goonies. All right. But here's the thing. This is rather thick poster material. And because of the way they've packaged it, you're never going to get these creases out. If even if I put this in a frame, it's going you're going to see the folds. And it's it was just not well. Roll it up and put it in the package. Alright? Because the box was big enough to hold this. A little thought that didn't go in. This was like an afterthought. The the picture is great, but worthless for displaying. I mean, maybe I could try ironing it. I'm sure that's going to work out. My luck, I'll burn it. It just... It was a good idea. Good intention. Bad delivery. But anyway, hey, that's... I thought you would like to see that. I don't know anybody other than Nerdy Wife that doesn't like the Goonies. So... They have a couple more figures. He has a couple more. He has uh, Gandalf the Grey, which, man, it was a toss-up between those two, but everybody's going to get Gandalf. And then he's got uh, a guy from The Hangover, which it looks cool, but no. Anyway, hey, that's it. That's our Monday. That, it, I know. I'm not reviewing a movie, uh, but I was excited about this, and it's great quality. So if you are considering purchasing this understand the mystery item is what it is but the figure the detail the way it looks the it's fantastic i will happily put it on the shelf of awesome uh, it, it looks great the the card is nice the little stand is nice it's fantastic so i would suggest getting it at 25 dollars it's a it's a deal in my opinion but hey you tell me have you bought this are you going to buy it? Comment down below, would you? All right, I got to go. I got stuff to do. My apologies. But we've got company here from out of town. So, mm. anyway, for Michael the Microphone, Bob, squeaky chair in the back, and this fat nerd, we will be back on Wednesday.